What up, guys? It's the Legendary Gamer Kevin Von Kaiser here, and we're back for another review of Dragon Ball Z Super Episode 106. And it's, this is a TN episode, which means it's not going to be that good. And judging by the episode, TN, like I said before, TN did nothing. TN was my prediction for the second, to be literally the second, but after seeing Master Roshi and stuff, I'm like, Hey, maybe he was going to be eliminated because he's weak and tired, but my first guess wasn't right. It was Tien. And nothing much came out of Tien. I I knew from the start, of he, after his, like how he got into the team, he didn't. He got. We should have four arm technique only to get bodied by Master Roshi. Yeah, yeah. From that start, I'm like, they really ran out of use of Tien. Like, they couldn't find any other person to replace Tien. Yamcha would have been a better choice. Or Hercule would have been just a funny choice, to be honest. But he, I think they put Hercule back because of the whole, like, he's way... He defeated Cell, Kid Buu, and Beerus. Yeah, I don't think... I think he's way too overpowered to be in the tournament. So, let's start with the episode. And we have this doctor named Dr. Rota. And you know why they call him a doctor? Well, we never found out the answer. <laughs> just a running guy they used in the entire episode, which is very funny. What is he the power of? Technically, he's from Universe 6. And we didn't really see much because it's just a joke. They keep kind of cutting him off every time. And now we deal with this uh, mysterious sniper. And I thought it would be like a, a, a mech combat, but it's actually a pretty good combat. Like, Prom creates this little orb that you can, like, uh, Broom is basically a, a a freaking reflector. Like you hit an attack on them and it, it bounces off. And you use also the orbs to like find your location and you can sense your body heat and stuff. So he's a he's a, probably he's a sniper. Which I like, would call him a coward. True snipers are coward, especially. But if you like, it, it, it could have been worse. He could have been jumping off doing a 360 no scope. <laughs> that would have been like much more worse. But honestly, like. You can't, you can't, really, I, I, can't, I hate when you call a sniper a coward. It's just what they do. They, they attack long range. It's kind of a style. But they found it difficult because no matter what key attack you use on him, it didn't work. And once again, Piccolo was protecting Gohan as he gets, he got shot by an arm twice because of him. They tried many ways of doing him, but he can see, he can use heat sensors, they fire heat blasts. But it didn't work to keep seeing him. And it turns out it was Hermilla. This little like falcon thing I was shooting into Prune with great accuracy and just like firing off condensed shot. It's kind of like a special beam cannon, but more like precise, like more concentrated and precise. Which made it harder. First they had to find him, but they were they were found Prune, but they didn't find the person who was shooting at him. So Goku decides to use Goku decides to use their inner great ape ability. And use giant rock throw, which works because it's not a key attack, it starts working. Which is really funny because. Because, like, they're just being throwing rocks at each other. Like, like they, they're using their, like, animal instincts and stuff. And, which, which, primarily like, can't deflect a physical projectile. So, that he has to force dodge. But then we have Tien, who basically tracks down who. Hermila, the person who was shooting him, and. Uses his uh, clones to uh so that they create like a like a little, like like a cannon fire like they they basically like he'll shoot them off, kill each of them until he gets close enough, which works but kind of looks like it's a bit lazy to be honest like like I want to see what more team could do but all we always see him do is something he's done in the past. Unlike Master Roshi, you see more Master Roshi like his technique and how it plays to his. You see how his moves come together, all his, his experience, he knows people's technique, and his mafuba. That works. That works in the, that really works in how it's supposed to be used. But that, 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 but Tien doesn't really offer much. You just you just showing them off like, look what Tien can do. Not like how Master Roshi just like shows it shows how all it comes together, but Tien just basically just showing what he can do. And eventually, uh, he uses a new, uh, Neo Tribeam, which is, seem like Kiho Koho, but much more safer, and doesn't, it, it looks devastating, I give it that. But, all in all, just like a, just a Tribeam, honestly, like, there's, 
it, it, you know, it's more devastating. It doesn't nothing new added to it. Like Krillin's like triple destructive disc and stuff, and his new tight team move with eighteen. I swear, I really wanted a. I'm. There's gonna be a lot of a TN hating, but a lot of you was all probably agreeing with me that that TN doesn't really didn't really put much new into the table. Like I thought he should have been eliminated first because honestly, we, when it came to TN's time, he didn't really sh show anything with, with these people. Though. And even at the end, where TN let us go down for just a second, Hermila fired the ground, destroying it, and which basically allowed uh, Tien to start falling, but his clone somehow survived and grabbed them and dragged them with him. This was only more of Hermela doing more work, but rather than Tien, because T Hermela just basically outsmarted Tien for a bit. Even though he did get praised by Beerus, I don't really... Master Roshi like, gets better praise, and so does Krillin get praise, but that's because they did a bit... they did much more stuff. Like, Krillin eliminated two people, so, well... Honestly, because Master Roshi helped him to like hold that one in place, hold the target in place while he fired it, so he eliminated two, but mostly he eliminated one by himself. Uh, not as impressive as Krillin or Master Roshi. I mean, like, why are the humans only being eliminated first? I mean, seriously, I know this is a Saiyan show, but come on, man, let Krillin at least survive a bit longer. Like, they don't have to make this about the, the damn Saiyans already. Overall, uh, this was not this. Well, the last time, like. Coming out of the last episode, this was a kind of a flop, to be honest. Sure, he got some new fighters, but honestly, Tien didn't really put much on the table. It was a sign to the after the whole like the sparring match between Piccolo and uh, Gohan versus Goku and Tien. Tien just basically got bodied by Gohan each every step of the way, and and his ma and his how he was introduced during his own thing, like how he Tien gets on Tien. Tien didn't really do much. He was basically the Krillin uh, stereotype. Which I honestly feel like if that's how Tien did not present Tien, then I don't think Tien should really be in this episode. One of the things that bothered me the most about Tien, he, he had a glowing, uh, his, his third eye was glowing and stuff. I thought that was going to be something cool or new, but didn't really do anything. Just basically, uh, this, this is just, just, just for show. And uh, I was expecting a bit, a bit like more out of it. And eventually, uh, it came down to from like from has nothing left. Like without anyone to shoot fiery at him, he kind of doesn't have anything to offer. So Prom starts running, but not before Doctor Rota, who we who's like. You want to call me a doctor? And Vegeta says, shut up and just throws him out. So, they know from Universe. They didn't even from Universe 2, yeah. Honest. And Dr. Rota was the newest expert. The biggest mystery. It's probably a new Dragon Ball Z, mystery, Dragon Ball Z Super Mystery. What was Dr. Rota's ability? Why did they call him a doctor? That must be answered. Maybe there's something more to it, or just, or just a running game. Okay. We gotta know why was he called Doctor Rota. And a new episode uh, looks like Master Roshi's gonna be in trouble. And the last time you do a Mafuba on on Frost, and this could be an episode we see the transformation. I'm still not looking forward to this transformation because it's as that's basically seven transformations at this point. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan one. Wait, sorry, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, and now this new thing. Yeah, I'm counting Super Saiyan 4 because it's part of the transformation thing. I'm... Honestly, like, how many transformations do you think you need to take out an opponent? Can't you just, like, do a hit, Krillin, and all? Jiren doesn't just train your body up and you don't need Super Saiyan, but it turns out, like, Saiyans are pretty weak without Super Saiyan. Yeah, I'm calling Saiyans a week. You can argue with the comments you want. But if they don't have Super Saiyans, basically anybody can body them at this point. Like, Super Saiyan is just a cheap tactic just to make yourself strong. That is a reference from uh, Steven Universe about fusion, but it means the same thing. I mean, it's not basically a transformation. It's not a pa It's not an awakening. It's not a, it's not a new form like Freeza is. It's just a multiplier. Like, they need a transformation Super Saiyan every thing. Unless you count the grade tips, like grade one, grade three, we have about, I don't know, like 11 Super Saiyans transformation. You count the grade, like grade one, grade two, all that stuff. 
And I'm honestly like I'm not really I'm not really like like psychic. It would look part look cool and all. But the fact that Goku needs another transformation just to beat a very powerful opponent shows like my so the lack of respect for the Saiyans I don't have. I know this has been episode one oh six. I'm not sure when the notice I heard is it could be a two month two week break, but when I see it I'll probably upload something. Sorry I've been uploading much stuff been going down lately. Anyway, this has been Kenneth on Geyser. Let your game remember I'm not OP. I'm just that good. See ya. It's time to jump up in the air. Jump up, don't be scared.